my channel and welcome to my very first video of 2018. 2018 is still an awkward year for me. Comment if you guys are planning on being awkward in 2018. Apparently I can't help it. So in this video I put together a bunch of like tips and tricks and life hacks so you guys can have a super healthy 2018. Also in the comments let me know what kind of device you guys watch YouTube videos on because I think people watch YouTube videos on their phone but let me know are you watching it on a phone or tablet or computer or any other device <laughs> and give the video a thumbs up if you guys like it if you haven't hit subscribe make sure to hit subscribe I post new videos every single week and also if you guys want to follow me on Instagram this is it right here come say hey but anyways let's get into the video so one of the easiest ways to switch up your health routine and get super fit and healthy for 2018 is definitely to just improve your diet and I'm not saying by tomorrow you got to be eating only broccoli and only fruit and vegetables but a super easy thing to do is just open up your fridge and think about next time you go to the supermarket what you could swap something out for so for me I swapped out like chocolate milk for coconut milk and I also swapped out french fries for sweet potato fries and moving on to some workouts this is some real life footage of me at the gym So, to be completely honest, I hate going to the gym. I said it, I don't like it, it's boring, and it makes me feel super awkward when someone else is in there and I feel like I don't know how to use the machines. And I'm guessing that because I don't like going to the gym, I used to dread working out. Even though like the working out part isn't the part I hate, it was the gym part. So for me, personally, I like working out in my lounge room, in my comfy clothes. So if you guys aren't getting active and you really just like want to kickstart it, then totally start by just doing things you love. Like dancing or running or just like playing soccer with your friends. Moving on, I totally recommend just grabbing yourself a piece of paper or a planner or a diary just so you can jot down the workouts you want to do so you can track them to make sure you're getting them done. I used to do this thing, let me know if you guys ever do it, but I would always say I can't work out because I don't feel motivated to do it and then I'd try and wait to be motivated and I would just never get motivated so I'd never work out. Anyone else? Having the planner though makes me feel way more inspired to get out of bed and like stop eating french fries for breakfast. But I find having the planner there with all my workouts already written down, it makes me feel so much more inspired. Yeah, you can turn me okay, so super easy, lazy person fitness life hack is every single time you guys walk out of the bathroom, do 25 star jumps to get a little more exercise in. It looks super weird, but it's fun. <laughs> So comment down below your favorite unhealthy food. I feel like my favorite would have to be chocolate or ice cream and like they're pretty unhealthy, but I feel like this DIY recipe kind of could substitute as both, like maybe. But basically all you do is take some yogurt in a Ziploc bag and just like pipe it out onto a piece of baking paper, freeze the yogurt overnight, and then bam, we have like frozen yogurt little chips. They're kind of like chalk chips, but like without the chocolate and they're so good, you guys. I could literally snack on these all day. They're so good and let's be real sometimes the hardest part of working out is just like not knowing what to do where to start what part of your body to work out but I found this really easy DIY on Pinterest and basically you just take some paddle pop sticks dunk them into three different colors of paint so each color of paint represents a different part of your body that you'll be working out once you've got your paint dry, you just want to take a Sharpie or a texter or a pen and just start writing out different workouts that you like doing. I'll put a bunch of exercises on the screen for you guys, but my blue sticks were for abs and some of my exercises were planks and sit-ups and leg raises. Currently judging my former self, like my grade 7 self, because I know that in high school I like skipped breakfast for a week straight because I felt like that was a cool thing to do. And I remember I was so starving and now I like wake up for breakfast in the morning. Like honestly, breakfast may be one of the only reasons I get out of bed in the morning. But breakfast is super important and especially if you're trying to work out during the day, you want to have a boost in energy as soon as you wake up. And I ain't gonna lie, I find eating toast for breakfast in the morning is so boring but it's really quick and easy but if you guys also want a quick and easy breakfast option this fruit bowl is literally four ingredients and it tastes so bomb and I honestly think you can make it quicker than you can make a piece of toast yeah, you can turn me 
So you guys probably know, but I make a playlist for like every single occasion. And I truly believe that making a playlist, especially for working out, is essential. The songs that I listen to when I'm working out versus the songs that I listen to on a regular day are so different. You don't want to be listening to like slow music when you're trying to like run on the treadmill because you'll probably just turn into like a potato and just stand still. So when you're making your workout playlist, definitely consider fast paced songs just so you can like get your heart pumping and you can really get into your workout. And I know that you guys have heard like a million times how important it is to drink water and I'm pretty sure that I read somewhere recently that the human body is made up of like 60% water which is insane. It is so important to stay hydrated especially if you're sweating out in the gym. And I know a bunch of people really don't like the taste of water. So if you guys don't like the taste of water, then you can also try infusing your water with like berries or lemons, just to make sure you're still drinking as much water as possible. And of course, don't forget you do not need super expensive gym equipment to get out and get active. You can literally just head outside into your neighborhood and go for a jog or literally just get a skipping rope and go skipping and it's so much fun. I also read recently that going outside can help with stress relief. So if you're a person that gets stressed out, head outside. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you guys did. And don't forget to comment down below letting me know if you guys have any New Year's resolutions. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!